Hi there everybody, my name is Marcellise and very welcome to another lockdown session for the students of Potter's Place and Clay & Co here in South Africa. Today we are creating wall panel plant holders with flattened quill slabs. with an indication of a template this is because if you'd like to create more than one and even sized you've got an indication more or less all right Just thrown a slab, placed my paper template and ready to cut it out. Try and keep your knife 90 degrees towards the surface that you're cutting. There we go. Good. I've just rolled out standard round quills and these would be going a bridge over the base of our slab back wall panel there we go I'm gonna go like that but in order to get that layered effect I need to flatten each of these. I'm going to start with the smallest one, which I'll be placing first as well. I use either the side of my palm or the top area where the fingers connect to my palm and flatten. Flatten the quill. The quill is now more or less four centimeters. Oh millimeters thick you can use the side of your hand here if you want a karate chop them like texture uh, on the quill slab I'd recommend you to do it now so that you don't have to add texture while it's actually bridging over the back of the wall panel And I'd enjoy texture on the second slab even though the folds in between the slabs would add natural texture for your wall planter right there are the three very important it's gonna go on the wall so we need holes in here using the back of my brush giving it at least a finger width from the side in the corner press a hole in the corner in line with the previous hole 
grace. Here we go. Right, so I've got my slab ready. It is at least seven millimeters thick. Remember, it's going to hang on the wall and carry the belly with soil and the plant inside so it needs to be nice and strong and therefore i make it a bit thicker so first of all more or less five millimeters from the edge i'm going to score all around using my teeth toothbrush leaving about three fingers or more or less two and a half centimeters from the top before I start joining my first what is now slab after I flattened the coil remember so all around and here we go our first coil slab joining Pressing it on there, pressing it this side, working in. This is now the inside of my ball planter. Working it in there. Okay, and now I can add a sponge for support here we go adding my second coil and before I join my second coil let's score it at the back here because it would be joining over the first giving me that layered effect right going over there behind behind it's exactly why I left so much and now closing these gaps squeezing it on there okay still using my sponge as support giving it a belly And getting that layered effect from one piece of clay layered over the other again folding it over and working in working it in there smoothing this is the way we are sticking the clay now okay. it's all wet very wet clay can change this shape as you desire okay let's keep a double sponge for support on this side one on this side perhaps one in the middle There we go and now I am ready to join my back slab and this is up to you but according to my knowledge of plants need a little bit of space for the water to drain out and again using the back of my brush pressing three small holes on the base right again let's score the back of the slab before we join it here on the bottom okay and perhaps at the base too the bottom 
because it's going to be folding. It's the lowest part of the wall panel area keeping the swirl in. Okay. And now. Here we go. It's the three holes for drainage. Pressing it down. Folding it over. And after pressing down, work it in. Stuck on there. Almost like a bag, bringing these sides over. much so all you do is cut a triangle inwards okay cutting a triangle inwards there we go and pinch these edges together giving you that beautiful bag like idea isn't it wonderful how many different forms of clay can take it can even look like a little bag a little sand bag okay pinch Right, there we go. Got too much here. So, all you do, cut off, leave about three millimeters space. From the clay and close that gap. in sponges again press and make sure these on the inside have been worked together right some sponges for support and only the top can be pinched to Newton. and we've got a lot of texture with layers just created a beautiful wall planter all right that was fun we've learned how to manipulate a quill into a long slinky slab we also learned how to fold and layer without a armature 
in order to create our beautiful wall panel planter. Hope you had fun. See you next time.